We'll see if we keep this short. <laughs> I doubt it. I got on here because... You listen to all these doom and gloomers out here. You know, next year, oh, 2024. Boy, watch out for 2024. It's going to, oh, my God. The world's coming to an end. Life as you know, it's going to disappear. All they're going to, you know, basically what they're saying is, is the system that you know is going to change, and we're getting you ready for that change. We're going to push the narrative that, we're going to change all this, and it's going to change. So in your mind, you know it's going to happen, so you just go along with it. Fact of the matter is this, people. You know why they murdered Jesus? He didn't follow the narrative. You know why they killed the disciples? Didn't follow the narrative. He was preaching something totally different. Didn't like what he was preaching. Faith and hope and prosperity, the, the, the kingdom of God. Something greater than them. They didn't like that. There's nothing greater than them. <laughs> Where I'm going with this is it's simple. You can accept their bullshit system and keep going along with it and going along with it and going along with it and conform and all this and that bullshit. When I was a young man, I remember a pastor telling me, oh, you should, you should just go along. Why, why, why do you fight the system? You should just go along. That was the last time I ever talked to him, last time I ever stepped foot in that church. Satan. He was a tool of Satan. He was a tool. Ask these people real questions. See what their answers are. You know, the bullshit, give it upon Caesar. We're, Caesar was a dictator. Of course, his face was on money. He was the dictator. He owned the land. He owned the people. He owned, he owned everything because he claimed it. He claimed it. And he had the military, and, and he was the dictator. This is not a dictatorship. This is a constitutional republic where each individual has rights. Right. This bullshit, what they call money, is not... Yeah, they try to claim it's theirs because they put in some fucking... I gotta watch my language because little kids are watching and I don't want them to be picking up on some talk like this. But they don't need to be pushing their system that is illegal. This is us. This is our country. You know, it's like we, we are to do God's will. Okay, these people are to do our will. And if we're doing God's will, that means they should be doing God's will also. So what, 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 what dilemma does that leave you? Go along to get along or stand up and say, no. Of course, what did they do to Jesus? I just told you. What did they do to the disciples? I just told you. <laughs> they got to silence you. They got to keep you quiet. You know what God told you? Jesus told you? you? You die for him. Come on in. Come on in. Come into paradise. You stood up for me. You put your life on the line for me. I did it for you. I did it for your soul. And I rose again. I kept my promise. You on also kept the promise to me. You gave your life for me. Like I've said before, don't worry about the ones that can kill the flesh. Worry about the ones that can kill the soul. Determine where you're going to be for eternity. But what I'm getting at is Yes, you could go along with this system. You could go, oh, yes, right, yeah, the law, the law says this, the law says that. Or you could stand up and say, no. You didn't create this planet. You didn't create this universe. You didn't create the grass. You didn't create the tree. You didn't create any of this, but you can't create. But you can destroy. That's right, Satan and Satan's system. All you do is destroy and work for your best interest, not God's. 
not for the people, not for Christ's people, not for all of humanity. All you do, and you run around going, oh, democracy, democracy, and you go kill innocent people. Instead of trying to walk in and work things out, no, we, we want to kill people. Why? It's big business, man. The one percenters. Like I said, you can go along with the system, and the system will kill you. And then God will do that, finish it off. Or you can stand up, say, I don't conform with this, I don't comply with this, you are not God, you are not my dictator, we don't live under that. They said, you are actually the problem, you are actually the traitor, you're actually the tyrant, you are what we fought against, our founding fathers fought against, exactly what you're doing right now. Declaration of Dependence applies more today than it ever has in our history. And they recognized and they did something about that. Three branches of government. And here's your Bill of Rights. And they don't stop there. There's many more. Government, this is all you can do. You got this very small little area. That's all you can do. The people, they control everything else. Oh, we make the law. No, you don't make the laws. You think you make the laws. But you're not doing the will of the people. You didn't ask. You just took. You just take. Lawless one. You, you can't create anything. Hmm. Yeah. You create death and destruction with your bombs and your threats because you're a bully. You create an AI, artificial, that doesn't have a soul. Perfect, isn't it? Isn't that perfect? Doesn't have a soul, doesn't live and breathe, but by God, it's artificial intelligence, and it'll wipe you out. Does not compute. God does not compute. So you can conform live in some sewer some more, or you can stand up and say, no, nah, I don't think so. When, when more and more people, you're going to be in the minority regardless, because these people are cowards in this country. They, they're all been brainwashed. They, they've been following the narrative, and they've got to go along to get along. And I mean, I understand you've got to feed your family. what our founding fathers did too. But they weren't going to stand for it. Civil War, same thing. They weren't going to stand for one part of the country saying to the other part of the country, this is how you're going to live. No. One man is not going to tell their other man how to live his life. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're telling you how you're going to live and conduct your life, even though you're not harming anyone. Well, we're going to stop that before it happens. Oh, pre-crime. Okay, perfect. Again, lawless. Pretty amazing, isn't it? If you stand back and look at what they do, that's all they do. They could break contracts, and they could break agreements, and they could break treaty. They could do all this stuff. But by God, when they say, "Oh, you got to follow it," you, man, you got to follow it, man. We got we we're honorable. We're honorable. See, honorable. You got to be before my honorable court. Really, honorable. Yeah. How'd you get there? You got you got judges sitting there. A couple female judges took like a couple million dollars split that and then they took another like seven or seven and a half million dollars split that to, to to go against some decisions the oh the bribery you mean oh yeah that's right extortion maybe i don't know did they ask for it to say uh we're our, our, our votes up for sale pay us or else who's going to pay us the most which side is going to pay us the most you can buy her a vote. Hmm. 
Hmm. God's not up for sale. This is what you have to do. It's set. It's done. That's it. There's my commandments. Do my will. Love me. You know, I mean, it's, it's all right there. The lawless one, it changes every single day by the by whichever way the wind's blowing today. You can't follow a system like that. It's it's erratic. It's like living with bipolar person and 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 psychopaths and and all the other stuff because that's what they are. You try to go here, you try to go there, you try to do this, you can never please them. You will never please these people. You cannot do it. Oh, you can do it if you get on your ground, kiss their boots, and uh, uh, give them everything you got, and, and, and don't give them any lip, and go crawl over into the corner, and, and stay out of their way, and let them do whatever they want, like a child. They just throw a tantrum if, if, if you can't do what they want. Anyways, I'm just saying. Hopefully what I say makes you think. Hopefully what I say brings you to God. Because God doesn't play games with you. God doesn't, he just, this is it. This is what you need to do. It's simple. It's not easy, but it's simple to understand what you have to do. Now this dirty bastard over here, this lawless one, he's going to make life as miserable and hard and, and make you sin as much as you can possibly sin so you don't get into the kingdom. Yeah, I will change that narrative as much as I need to change it because I'm the lawless one. Doesn't matter. You can't follow a psychopath. Anyways, I don't know if this comes out on Christmas Day or the next. We'll find out, won't we? I don't want to make your Christmas a bad day, and most people probably won't watch anyway, so I probably won't turn it out that day. So, y'all take care.